Welcome back to another tour video. I'm offending commit and okay, I have a little rusty here. Do you go by ah? Do you go by a little or just rusty? Um, it's a little rusty, but you can call me rusty. That works for me. Cool. I'm just being goof. Just being a goof. <laughs> no problem. So wow, yeah. <clears throat> I I love I love what you got. Love what you're doing with the place. Let's uh I you're you're my tour guide, so I'll All follow right. you. <clears throat> All right. Well, uh, as you can see, this is front the front of my house. Yeah. Uh oh. to my left I got uh I just got the gazebo and to the right side we have kind of more of my like tool crafting area. So I figured uh we'll start with the gazebo and work our way to the right. Sweet. All Sounds right. like fun. Yeah. How did then, you uh, curve the trees? <laughs> you can rotate them. What? Yeah, you can rotate them. And we have the uh, we have the little the little guys out right now. I don't know if you can see it on your on your screen. I see the little guys. Yeah, he just left me a gift. Oh. Actually. <laughs> yeah, that's that get? new bundle. Uh, I got spicy pepper seeds. Heck yeah. Yeah. All right. But yeah, so uh, I just kind of made a little entryway that that's just leads up cool. to uh, cool. I've gazebo. never seen that before. Yeah. Nice. I like the gazebo. Thank you. It's just kind of a place to come out and hang out and relax, have some tea and macaroons. Heck yeah, macaroons. <laughs> macaroons. <laughs> I yeah. have a funny story, and this is just totally random, but you know, my wife and I, we went to this little bakery and we kept calling them Macrons and we kept getting corrected, but we just kept sticking with Macrons. And, and yeah. now forever, it's Macrons. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. So then just to the right of that, I just have a little picnic area right here. Oh, don't diminish a little picnic area. I mean, you a got little picnic area. <laughs> you got the derpy deer. I mean, we love the derpy deer. I love the derpy. We need deer. more derpy deer. <laughs> yes, yes. Give me all the derpy animals. All the derpy animals. All right. So we'll go ahead and just kind of walk up in the middle here. I like the first... makeshift little entrance. You know, I mean, people have kind of been using the the big one from the Maji market, but the, the makeshift stuff is just, it's awesome. I love, I love them. I was so excited. I just caught that like a week ago, finally. Oh, and so it, just, but, it makes it worth it. I mean, you know, for, for Paleo to be in a free to play game, like it's, it's the little wins, you know, that matter. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But yeah, we just have a nice little sit down fountain area. That's a, I see a little, little plushy floating in it that's so cool yeah it comes with that <laughs> oh that's so fun that's the some of those little things i haven't noticed yet you you see a different thing even though you've been on a couple of tours <laughs> right you always notice like a few little new things here and there yeah okay so i have to ask right you're yes tell me tell me about your farm engineering here uh poor <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> i Probably farming is one of my least favorites, actually. <laughs> but I mean, you got the apple trees and the, the yeah. blueberries, so yeah, I I kind of I got it going. It's uh that and fishing are my least are my least favorite items or things to do in the game. So ah yeah, what are it that is. that makes me beg the question: What's your most favorite? Uh, I really liked hunting and forging and mining. Ah, oh, that's cool. I, yeah. Oh, and furniture crafting. I that was like one of the first things I did the most of was oh, furniture yeah. crafting, and um, I love the modification tool so much. I guess I we went we to like a color. different time, and like all yeah, of a sudden, yeah, I had just watered and weeded this for uh, you to always, come over, right? Yeah. <laughs> but hey, I got some apples now. <laughs> Heck yeah! And, and you're then, also uh, jamming too. You got. Triple jams. Oh, yes, the jams. I got the jams going. Yes. I finally started just doing all those like maybe two weeks ago. <laughs> oh, fun. Yeah. yeah I, and, uh... I that's okay. one of the I was just saying that's one of the things that I that I struggle with is like the 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 machinery of all the things that that I need. I'm just like I I like the I like the foraging myself and, and hunting. Mm -hmm. That's that part's fun. Yeah. So I just have my garden just leading out to the watering area because I feel like it just makes the most sense. It really does. And people that have had, you know, some larger plots, it kind of makes me wonder. It's like if they're going to add some sort of a portable water that you can just fill up your bucket. Yeah, you know, if you that would be farm. actually a really good idea. Have like a 
pond you can craft and you can get water out of. Yeah. Or or just yeah. really anything with water, like you can just refill it. Exactly. That would be really nice. Tool shack. Yeah, I've got my tool shed, my she shed. Oh, uh, yes. Here. Yes. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, just right outside are my worms. We have a little like picnic, another little like picnic area to sit at as well. I love it. And then, of course, we have our outhouse right back here in case you need to use the bathroom. When you got to go, you got to go. Exactly. And then just a little bit more crafting areas outside here. So one thing that I, I, I noticed about your stuff is, and this is this is just one of those things that I pick up on, the way that you have your tools laid out and your, uh, like your seeds and your campfires, they're always in an arch arch shape yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's cool that's cool i want i like playing with shapes yeah i like playing with shapes so if i can if i can turn it in any way i will do that <laughs> right yeah it doesn't always have to be aligned you know yeah, yeah i feel like uh certain like spaces and areas like you know the having it a little bit more of a straighter line makes sense and here i kind of wanted more of a you know i kind of popped it down and this is where it is <laughs> yeah that's no, cool that's yeah. cool so we'll cut through back through the garden and we'll uh, walk All into right. the house. Going to the house. Yeah. So we got my flower beds going. Yeah, I like the I like the mix of colors or. Yeah, you got it all. You got it all arranged very nicely. Oh, you know what I, I do notice, though, is like the the difference in height, like you got the table in the middle. It's yeah, nice yeah, I kind of figure give a little bit of dimension. So I have some like tools and or like uh, tools, uh, stools and stuff hiding mm. in there to kind of make it a little bit more natural looking, I guess you can say. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I got you. I would, I would love if they would let us like craft furniture items that would be like plants that you could do like flower beds and stuff without like the pot underneath it and everything yeah 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 be a great addition i think that and stone cool. pathways i'm manifesting oh. stone pathways yes yes definitely all right so all right let's go on in all we right. have my sitting room oh yeah that's a nice nice touch kind of walk right into a sitting room and you got the different wallpapers and oh i like your use of color Thank you. That modification bench. <laughs> yeah, right. I love it. I wish there was more colors to choose from. I Add think we're going to get that soon. I know. I hope we get more colors because they have just like the, I think, what, five to choose from? That's not enough. I know. We need a lot more. Color wheels. Complimentary yes, colors. Color wheel. Yes. So, yeah, we just have my little living room we can sit down and hang out at. And I then love it. To the left of it to my bedroom. I think it's really cool that um, one of the things that I, I've I've noticed is how people decorate their shelves and just mm -hmm. what, you know, how all the stuff that you filled them with, you know, like, what do you choose? And I think that's really cool. You got a good mix. Oh, I like you. I like this one. Oh, and the. Uh, I guess there are their bookshelves, how you kind of have them pointed at the, the window. That's a, that's interesting. It's like, look here, look, look through this window. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, if I can, if I can play around with the rotating and angles in the game, I'm going to do so. <laughs> That's cool. But yeah. I kind of thought they looked like antlers a little bit. So. Yeah. They, I can see that. I can see that now. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So kind of just going with like a little foresty theme bedroom <laughs> here with my little plushies and. The little animal rugs. I have a um, little closet space right over here in that corner. I love that they have plushies and everything like and you can just kind of stash them anywhere. I mean, there's really no bad place to put a, a plushie in Paleo. And I yeah, agree. And then uh, I just have my little I'm, patio right out here to the lead longer me right back. the longer that I stare at this, the more that I see the antlers. And that just kind of makes me think like. If there were like a high end Cernuk shopping center and paleo it would have those things it would It'd be I super modern that. and super chic <laughs> yes i could definitely see that the high end yeah it's super antler, high end capital you know, capital grade clothing the store finest leather in town yeah don't ask where it came from <laughs> exactly and then yeah i have my little space out here where i got you know the little gifts from the market that we just had and be drumming. I really, 
Yeah, I haven't really like figured out quite yet how I want to set it up back here. Like I said, I've been wanting to um, do some rearranging, but with the lag right now, with the building in Palea, um, it's kind of been a little difficult. Like it took me 20 minutes just to place the fence around the back patio there. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to kind of just wait till, you know, they just announced that they are working on that. Um, and hopefully by the next patch that they will tackle that issue. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I, I understand that. Especially something, uh, the way that people are using the fences now, that kind of mm -hmm. detail, uh, I can understand how, how yeah. stressful that could be. Oh, and then if you want a really good view, just I like come good right views. over here. Yep. Yeah, I have, um, I got stairs leading to the roof of my house. I like, I, I like that, that people have been doing this. Like it's a, it's a whole new perspective on. Exactly. Right? <laughs> I mean, in case you need to protect against invaders or something, you know? Yeah, exactly. Or, you know, if you got a leak in your roof, you know, at least you got right. access up here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But yeah, you can you can actually fly from my roof to the very top of the gazebo there if you wanted to. Mm. <laughs> if you wanted to, but... Let me do it, because I was using Now the, you want to uh, know? <laughs> now I want to know. I have to know this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey. Nice. There you go. Got it. It's the little thing. So, you know, what can I do to try to break the game? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. One of my earlier videos, like, I flew out of boundaries and I I did all kinds of fun, crazy stuff. And, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about uh, possibly adding a candle up here or something to kind of give it a lighthouse appearance. That's a that's good a idea. Do that. Simple, yeah. Um, definitely. But, yeah, hopefully they'll, uh, they'll allow us to do some... Um, color options for like the gazebo and stuff like that would be great too yeah that was kind of my my next question is like you know what what are some things that you would want in paleo and you already covered some things but mm -hmm. i guess a, a better question would be what are your plans for your property um i just want to i mean i'm like i said i'm pretty happy with it i wouldn't mind rearranging it if anything um I would like to add like another bedroom kind of like as a guest bedroom mm -hmm. with a bathroom as well. Um, but eventually on another plot, I would like to do like a, like a hotel themed build. Oh, that sounds and, like fun. Yeah. Kind of do like a little front desk area with a, a kitchen with a bunch of tables and chairs um, I... and then have all the rooms with the furniture that you craft. Yeah, that would be really cool. A lot of, so... a lot of themed rooms, like a, Hotel Airbnb. We haven't been to yeah. this side of your house yet. Yeah. So this is my kitchen. This oh, is, I, I think, my favorite room. Yeah, I can see that. You can, you can tell, like, you can kind of tell, like, who, what's, what's your favorite room. I love your, I love your colors that you have in here. Thank you. Actually, so I have a glitch with this wallpaper. I don't know why it keeps doing this wallpaper on this side. It's supposed to be pink, not this, not the sage green. It keeps switching for some reason uh for me it's pink <laughs> it's pink really yeah. on my side it shows a it's showing um the sage green on the top half with that wooden plank on the bottom wallpaper yeah no it's all it's it's all pink for me okay we'll just cut that out you yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, wait, it doesn't see anything it's it's good okay so that's good to know it's on my end then yeah which is but weird yeah. though because typically you know it would be good on your end but not on mine mm-hmm but yeah, so that's interesting. But yeah, I, I love my kitchen. Um, I just wish we can... Oh, another thing I would like Paleas to do for us is um, modify the uh, cooking stations so mm. I can have it match to my kitchen. All right, yeah, come on. It's unacceptable, right? Singularity 6. <laughs> but like I said, I mean, time, time will come. Right. I bet they'll have all that kind of stuff. I'm still enjoying everything. I don't think it looks bad either. It gives it contrast, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, got a got a contrast. It, it it goes with the frame of the house, you know, the bones of the yeah. house. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we just kind of have a little buffet area for oh, nice spread. Yeah, to get the cookouts going and everything like that. This is where you can like set the food down, and then of course, right next to this room is the arcade room. Nice. I like that we can put out food, and it, you know, I it just has it a too. steaming effect. Ooh, that's a good game room. I love this wallpaper. That just has that contrast, you know, the the butterflies. Yeah, I, this is a great wallpaper. It's so pretty. I love like how it's kind of neon. Yeah. But yeah, so More I just kind colors. of I just made this about a week ago. 
I know it, it's that's that's one of those things that just it blows my mind is you know when when you go on a tour they're just like yeah you know I just I just did this you know just last week I'm just like whoa <laughs> and then of course the bathroom a fancy it's a fancy, very fancy 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 room yeah it's very yeah. very capital chic yeah, then, I had a lot of fun with the cottagey, cozy vibe and stuff. So I thought it'd kind of be fun to do like a nice fancy bathroom. Definitely got to be ritzy, you know, for your stuff, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta have you gotta have a really nice bathroom. So you know? yeah, what the you like hunting and and stuff like what? Do you have a favorite bug? And one question I always love to ask too is like, who's your favorite NPC? Mm, um, I really like Reth. I think his lines are really funny and corny. Yeah, he's a little flirt. Not Bedrew. Uh, I do like Bedrew. He's maybe okay. his maybe his lines are a little too corny. Uh, maybe just a smidge, just a yeah. smidge corny. <laughs> it's it's a lot, but I, um, I love yeah, the dad like jokes. <laughs> yep, <laughs> the dad jokes are are always good. Um, but yeah, I like Reth a lot. He's a lot of fun. And who else? I mean, Tish is always a good one as well. Um, I'm kind of wanting to get to know like Enar a little bit better mm -hmm. as well. I feel like he's a really unique character. So I'm kind of. He's got a story behind him, you know? Yeah, exactly. So I'm trying to look into that right now. Yeah. That's cool. Excellent. Yeah. Well, yeah, um, little home here. No, I, I like it a lot. Like you have good. You got a good layout. You have great colors, and you know, just got to have more colors, of course. Come on, Singularity Six, get with it. And yeah, let's get some yellow. I would love yellow. Would be would be so nice. Yeah. Or just like even like just a classic black and white. Oh yeah, mix it in with the capital stuff. You're set. Mm -hmm. You're set. Sweet. Um, I'll throw it back mm -hmm. to you. Do you have any questions for me? Because uh, I've been asking you a whole in? bunch of stuff too, right? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, just how long have you been playing for? Uh, I've been playing since the closed beta. Um, I got in a little bit early and just kind of been taking my time with it, uh, playing with friends and been enjoying, you know, just just the the all of the social aspects of pale that have come out, you know, the cake parties, hunting with friends. And mm -hmm. I, I got some pretty fun friends that uh, we've been playing with and, you know, they're they're they are a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> nice nice what's your favorite part of paleo like what's your favorite thing to do in the game i i really like exploring um i like the story because one of the things that like when when we first got into paleo was like hearing from the developers and and their team how they've they've really written so much depth into the the npcs and and the backstory and like how magic is you know kind of taboo but that's like recce's thing so that's that's kind of I, I i dive into i dive into just kind of the lore of it it's it's really mm -hmm. fascinating and then just seeing how much time they spend on animating the npcs and how much character mm -hmm. they're giving them just like whoa you don't see that you don't see that in a game yeah they've so. done a really good job with like details and everything like that and i i like how they're very like open with the community yeah, and they it's... they listen to, you know, our wants and our needs. They take our feedback, um, and they deliver really well. In yeah, my opinion. yeah, and it, you know, I I'm a DevOps engineer by day, content creator by night. Um, I've been really impressed with how they've just, like you said, communicated and and just have been nailing down issues and adding new features and you know. So I, I got respect. I got respect in that regard. Yeah, it's it's really nice to see that. Um, they're just, yeah, they're doing a great job. So I'm really happy with how this game is coming along. And I just know, like, some of the things that I'm, like, talking about, you know, like, oh, I wish we had this. I wish we had that. It's, it's not, like, complaining. It's just, like, I know one day we're going to get it. And I'm mm -hmm. going to be really excited when we do get it. So oh, I'm yeah. Just, so we just got to manifest it. Definitely. <laughs> we'll yeah, have to manifest sure. it. Just, just <laughs> meditate on it. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm Rusty, really excited to see what comes out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for for giving me a tour of your house, and this is just it's it's been great. It's been great to get to know you too. 
Yeah, thanks for coming by and checking out the place. Definitely. And can't uh, wait to see what you come out with. Definitely. Yeah, I'm excited too. I, I got I got some things up my sleeve and I'm excited to show them to everybody. So I will awesome. uh I will catch you all later. Don't forget, you know, do the YouTube thing. If you like, like it, subscribe. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know what you know what to say. Cool. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Cool. Thank you.